You're a good welcome man. Okay. By chance, I happen to have the winning <coughs> in here. And I have the joy and pleasure of reading some bands. Um, this, is, this is the formal bit before Ryan takes over again. I published the bands of marriage between Aaron Shaw Reed and Samantha Reed Beal of the parish of Stoke Clinton. And Gary J. Bird, Rose Anna Fuller of the parish of Calston. In both cases, this is for the third time of asking. If anyone knows of any reason why these persons may not lawfully marry, you are to declare it now. Pray for you. Heavenly Father, give your blessing on all couples preparing for marriage, and especially to Aaron and Samantha and Gary and Rose Anna. Pray for them in their hopes and in their dreams. And may these come true through their faith in each other and their trust in you. Teach them. How great is the joy that comes from sharing. How deep the love that grows with giving. Lead them in peace to the day of their wedding. And be with them in their hearts and in their homes, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I've got one other notice. Uh, we've just restarted again uh, after the service individual private prayer. So if anybody would like to ask prayer for somebody, make your way over to the, uh, the Lady Chapel, I believe it's called. Chapel of Remembrance. Chapel of Remembrance. It's okay. <laughs> well, in the old days, it used to be the Lady Chapel. Yeah. <laughs> Dominic, why you there? Do you think you could just explain to the children, if you know, what, why you have to do that? This is a bit weird, isn't it? I have to say it three times. It is a bit weird. In the old days, the old days, the, the place like this was, was like the main place to catch up with all the village news. And when the couple wanted to get married, by announcing it in the church, you made sure that as many people as possible heard that this person and that person had said that they wanted to get married. And it did mean that just in case somebody was being a bit naughty and trying to marry two people, somebody could say, oh yeah, that's not right. I know why they shouldn't get married, because I went to their wedding six years ago. So this is like a public declaration that two people want to get married, and it's just a way of making sure that as many people as possible knew of this plan, so that if there was anything in the matter, they could say, oh, excuse me, have you, did you actually, uh, are, are you able to do so using the church was just a way of telling parish news, as well as our main job of telling the good news. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> right, well, you can know, sit down, you sit down now, <laughs> I'm just, um, well, it's important to have know, you know, you know, 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 you're sitting here. I should have you down, Jamie. I'm just trying to sort of, you know, make for the time, because I don't know where she is. Right. Have you seen James? Dawn, have you seen James? Um, yes, I'm, she's just not answering the phone. All right, okay. Um, right, okay. Well, in that case, um, uh, we've had an introduction from Dominic, um, sort of. Uh, a bit, I'm, a bit, I'm a little bit panicked on my own. I don't quite know what to do because I haven't got Jane here. I don't know. Do you want to help me, Henry? Yeah. What, what, what are you going to say? Oh, I, think, I don't know whether we should do it at all, to be honest. I think we should just go home. <laughs> Well, let, let, look, let's just see. I, I always have to do it by myself. I know, but I don't usually, you see, and I feel a bit lonely on my own. Um, there's, I've got a song at least, so at least we can just have a play and a jingle while we're waiting for Jane, all right? So I've got this piece of music, Not Afraid. I'm a bit afraid at the moment. This is actually by that group that do Lighthouse, but these aren't the group, this is just some random people.
Sorry, sorry. Um, oh, she's not here. I'm having a bit of a panic. Do you know where she's at? Maybe she's tired. <laughs> well, I haven't seen her at all. I was here first. Um, she was just. I'm a bit. She was just. She was just. She was just. Should we just leave it and just go home? I'm a bit, I'm a bit oh, panicked oh, about it. Oh, I don't know what to do otherwise. Um, oh, what's this? Zoom incoming call from Jane Coon. What do you mean she's on the Zoom call?
God and what the best way of living was and all that stuff. Um, and there was a man called Jairus, and very important man, and he ran all the way to where Jesus was. And he was busy, he was very busy talking to people. Do you know? Oh, that's another story. But yes, you're right. That is another one. Just like that. Good boy, you do remember that one. Well done. But no, this time, he actually came and said, My daughter is really poorly. Can you please come? Because I don't think she's going to live. And, and I've heard all these wonderful things that you do. And what, what wonderful miracles you do. Can you come and help my daughter, my baby girl? Well, I know what that feels like. Because if my little daughter uh, is, is poorly... And Jesus is like, yeah, 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 I'll come. Yeah, I'll, start, I'll, I'll come, I'll come. And he's on his way. Um, but then there's lots of people gathering around him. And, 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 and then he stopped and he said, oh, no. you've just touched me. Okay, well, that's a bit odd because he was in a bustling crowd and he was bumping up against all sorts of people. No social, no social distancing there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and he said, someone just touched me. I felt the power. Because there's no point in carrying on because she died. And Jesus looked at Jairus and said, Don't worry, believe. And Jairus was like, oh, really? Believe what? Believe that she's dead? I know she's dead, I'm really upset about it. What do you think happened? What do you think happened? When Jesus got there, he said to the family, Why are you crying? Why are you so upset? What's all the wailing for? Shh, be quiet a minute. <laughs> can, you, can you do that, Jane? Can you do no, that? I'm still feeling that you can't see, but I'm not going to leave you, Ryan. I'm staying all the time. Okay, just, just like I say, shh, all right? Okay, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
In fact, as rumours spread about the amazing work of Jesus, a crowd would form around him, full of people who wanted to see Jesus at work with their own eyes. There was one particular
that you weren't going to be here. But actually, if I'd have just stopped and said... Sorry? If I... If I Sometimes that happens, doesn't it, that we hear about something and we talk to God about something and then we panic because we think he's not listening or he's not interested or he doesn't do things the way that we think he will. So, we still need to believe him because he, he never, he's never going to leave us. And there's nothing that's impossible for God, is there? Nothing at all. Nothing, nothing impossible. And as Jesus is God, we should do is tell God what we want him to do and then get disappointed when he doesn't do what we want. Sometimes it's a little bit more complicated than that, isn't it? It is a bit, but yeah. We can still believe in him and, and nothing is impossible for him. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I think I think Jairus, when he looked into Jesus' eyes, do you think that Jairus had faith and he believed like Jesus said? Do you think he didn't worry? What do you reckon? I think he suddenly felt I believe in you. I believe and I have complete faith in you for whatever, whatever you're saying that is going to make my life feel, feel much, much better. And, and it did. I mean, he had a pretty good, he did an amazing so memory. Did you see other people, other people that decided that Jesus wasn't interested and it was too late? And they told the person not, they told Charles not to bother anymore. Um, and maybe sometimes we listen to other people who say, well, God's not answering your prayer, so I won't bother praying anymore. But we, we know that's not true, don't we? So do you think those kind of people then, do you think those kind of people perhaps lose faith and don't believe? Perhaps they think it's too late and they can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, going to, I'm going to switch you off for a minute because I think we have got to next on the, on the list because they're actually not here. We can't see. Oh, look. I think we can have some prayers. Who's going to read that for me? Anybody want to read that one for me? Do you want to read it for me? Can you do it? Come on, then. such a lovely, lovely thing to think. And, and to hear you saying that, that really made me feel, really made me feel that I can trust and I can believe. So when things seem hopeless and things are going wrong, do not be afraid, just as I was, because I was a bit, I was a bit of a panic, wasn't I? Trust and believe in Jesus. And it may not have been that Jane had popped up, but actually, if I'd have just been calm and let Jesus into my life and trust and believe, I think I'd have been fine. I think I'd have been absolutely okay and Dominic wouldn't have had to start it off for me. Do you reckon, Dominic? I reckon you'd have been fine. I think I'd have been okay, actually. I don't know about the balance of it because I didn't know that, but I could have done, I could have, I could have felt much better. Right, okay. Jane, can you hear us? I can hear you. Okay, I've got to the slide now that yes. says, um, it says, keep calm and trust in Jesus. I like that one. But it also says, let us pray. So, <clears throat> I think, yeah. we've got a teaspoon prayer that's just come on the board, the, on the board, on the television. Has it just got a, um, okay. a teaspoon? Do you ever remember why we use teaspoons? Because I don't know whether everybody knows. A teaspoon of prayer because if you see a, if you see a recipe and it asks you to put a teaspoon of sugar or salt or whatever into your into your recipe, it doesn't write it right out. Teaspoon it takes too long, so they just put T S P. And everybody who does cooking knows that T S P just stands for teaspoon, and we quite like that, don't we, Jane? Because T S P. It's a really good way. Of something else, yeah, thank you. I'm yeah. sorry and please, absolutely. So, Jane, are you going to lead us into some teaspoon prayers? I can lead you in some teaspoon prayers, yes. 
Maybe we just need to be quiet just for a little minute and think in our heads and our hearts. Okay. We've all got lots of different things we want to say thank you to God for, aren't we? I think you need to say thank you, Ryan, that you don't need to panic. You know that God will always be there. Yes. And we need to trust him. So for a minute to think of some things we want to say thank you for. I probably don't ask people to share that because it's a little bit more complicated today. So in the quiet of your heart, just say what you want to say thank you to God for. And then I'll add a few little bits. We do thank you, God, for our wonderful church family, the family that meets and then every week and the Isn't it wonderful how it can help us? So we bring all our thank you prayers to you, Lord. But we know we don't always get it right, and sometimes we do panic, and we need to say sorry to God for, for maybe when we haven't trusted Him, we haven't believed in Him, and maybe when we've done things wrong as well. So let's just have a moment of quiet to bring the things we want to say sorry to God for. Jesus, as we bring the things to you that we need to say sorry for, when we say the Lord's Prayer, we say the bit about clean us up on the inside, and that's what you promised you'll do. So the things we brought to you that we're sorry about, you will forgive us. We need to go and talk to anybody else because let them give us the courage and the strength to do that, but then to know that we can move on. And that please is when we want to ask people, ask God for things. And I don't know about you, but I know lots of people who are very poorly at the moment or they're feeling very sad. Um, I've got lots of messages coming in every day and I just, I can get very sad as well, but God just wants us to bring these people to him. So whether it's somebody that's poorly or whether they're, maybe they're excited, they're looking forward to something really nice. We want to say, please let them have a wonderful party or a wedding or occasion but if there's anything that we're concerned about or we know other people are let's just again bring them quietly to God.
We have come to and here. We have come to the end of our service now. So can I just thank you so much for joining me and making me feel better? That's quite a lot. You know why I'm always around, even though we, if you may not see me. You know I'm always. You can always contact me at any time, and we can always contact Rob at any time. Yeah. You have one notice, do you? Right, well, our next family service is on the 25th of July, and after the service, we're going to invite you all and anybody from Messy Church or anybody you'd like to invite to come down to the field near Bill's Mill on our farm and bring a picnic and some games. I'm afraid no dogs are allowed down there, but children are. Bring your swimming tops and things with you, and we can have a lovely family and socially distanced time together and we may be able to have a paddle in the river as well if that's if we're allowed to do is that okay that's really lovely thank you very much i'll be there especially because there's a picnic involved <laughs> good i'll be there yeah. Yeah. just really lovely to see you all god's blessings on you all thank you jay and we're going to just excuse thank you are you still there i'm going to put some music on and then i'll have to listen Thank you. 